skimming. This sport is a ski resort spring tradition that dates back decades. And here in Vermont at Bromley Mountain Ski Resort, they understand the entertainment value inherent in this wild and wacky sport. Pond skimming, you start about 100 yards up, uphill of the pond, you ski as fast as you can in a straight line, you hit the water, you lean back, and you pray to God that you don't fall in the pond. The chances of that today are not really good because this is an incredibly long pond and it's incredibly deep and cold because they just filled it up this morning. For those who achieve the objective of this sport, they remain unscathed by the icy pond. But for the majority who do not, the struggle is real. And what about technique? Is there anything special the experience execute? The key was to lean back uh, and then put your arms out and have long skis. Uh, I didn't put my arms out or have long skis. <laughs> and we all saw how that ended up. For those of you who might be interested but fear for your safety, Papa Jim explains how they keep skimmers safe. Once they hit the water, we've got people to be able to drag them out. Because sometimes, you know, with skis, it's harder to get the skis off. In a snowboard, you're locked in. So if you go under the water, they've got people with waders that come in and drag them out. At Bromley Mountain, this year's talent stem from a wide range of ages. From 11 years old to 50 years old, it's clear. This sport has no age limit. This year's winner went to Elvis. And how'd he do it? Just straight on bombing. I'm all about that action, boss. And his pre-game secret? Jägermeister. <laughs> However, even though the outrageous outfits are entertaining, they do play a role in performance. I would probably go in shorts because your pants weigh you down too when you're in the water. Everything weighs you down. What about weather conditions? Do those play a factor? I mean, it's usually warmer. Uh, it's usually, this is not exactly spring conditions, but uh, what are you going to do? And there he goes. This sport not only feeds its participants the adrenaline thrill they crave, but it also helps people cope with the long, cold winter they've had to face. You know, the winter can be a lot of fun, and, uh, and most people don't enjoy it, so this is just another way to enjoy it. It's great. It's all the cabin, the cabin fever only made me do this. There's no, there's no other possible reason why this happened. <laughs>